Hi, I'm Roman from the company Solaclino. Today, I have the chance to receive not only a customer, a partner, but also a friend, Kim, from the company uh, Solaco Cleaning, a cleaning company in Belgium. And so at Solaclino, as a provider and suppliers of robotic solutions, it's always a pleasure to exchange a bit, to have the feedback of our partners and customers. Um, so Kim, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks happy for, to be here. <laughs> for, for your time. Yeah. Um, Kim, if I can go straight to the point, I would even ask you, like, how did you come up with the idea of solar cleaner with robotics cleaning? Uh, well, basically, I've been an electrician. I've been self-employed electrician for more than, uh, yeah, I think it was 15 years now. Mm -hmm. um, and about three years ago, I had, uh, I know a lot of installers and uh, I know that they were talking a lot about this problem, the, the sorting on the panels. And then I started this idea together with a good friend of mine to start a solar panel cleaning company. At that time, that was strictly um, residential okay. on a Saturday. So that quickly turned into something uh, much bigger than that already. Interesting. But how could you, how could you explain that? The, I mean, the cleaning business is not something that it was so common in the last five years. I mean, it's something that we see more and more, not only I mean, in Belgium, but also everywhere. How could you explain that this business is growing so much that there is such a demand for this uh, cleaning uh, needs? It's a fact that there's a huge problem by, with uh, the education in the market, um, especially when installers themselves are trying to explain to homeowners that the installations don't need to be cleaned. But um, cleaning is necessary and look around. There's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, solar panels, residential, commercial, utility. Um, so yeah, um, and we know already that these panels need to be cleaned, but now it's up to us to inform the okay. people that. Yeah, definitely, you're right. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, we've noticed also at Solar Clean, uh, when we started, we, we wanted really to develop a robotics machine, but we did not expect to have such a high demand. We did not expect to see such a high level of, uh, of cleaning business all over the world. And we also learned a lot from the market. We've seen that in every country, the way of cleaning is different. The, the way of thinking about the cleaning is different. For example, if you look uh, in countries where in the US where they still think that rain makes the job, in some countries like in France or in Germany, that's a totally, I mean, total opposite way of thinking. So it's quite um, interesting. Yeah, and the market is changing fast. We see a lot of floating installations now appearing. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the industry is changing a lot. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, what is also, maybe we, we, we didn't talk about it yet, but what would be interesting also for, for me to know is like, how did you come up with the, the Solakino robots? Uh, I mean, um, yeah, you've, you, you've said that you had this, this link with the electronic, uh, this, this activity, but mm -hmm. why this kind of machine? And why didn't you stay with manual brushes? Why didn't you go for big tractors machines, for example? So I started doing residential. Um, then it quickly turned into commercial cleaning. Um, first, we were using the typical brushes, water fed pole, osmosis system, etc. Um, but we quickly saw that that was very labor intensive. Definitely. Um, yes. Imagine if you have to go clean a roof installation with 2000 panels and you have to do it with a typical brush, then um, you would be cleaning a few days. Yeah. Um, so we were looking for ways to improve the efficiency of our business and um, one way or another uh, I think Google led me to you guys <laughs> okay so it means that we have a nice so, uh, SEO yeah that's cool and I mean that's uh, that's always interesting I mean to, to, to see where we come from where we are right now but if we talk about the future what I mean what do you expect from Solarco cleaning in the future how do you see yourself I mean in 10 years with the, with with or without this robotics machine we're pretty ambitious. Um, we really want to be the number one uh, cleaning company when it comes to commercial cleaning. That's a segment that we focusing really want to focus on. Um, commercial, but also the floating solar industry. You're right. If you if you look in Europe, for example, I mean, you compare. We, we've learned a lot for, from from all different <coughs> customers. And we've seen that in countries such as in. Uh, in the US, so in, in Southeast Asia, you already work with huge ground mounted installations. But when we focus on Europe, you have a huge potential for the rooftops. Yep. And that's where, um, that's where I see a lot of potential also for our robots that are used a lot for, for the rooftops. Um, so, I mean, even if, for example, in your case, Belgium is, is a small country, you have a high uh, amount of rooftops to be clean. Mm -hmm. And it's not only this, you talk about floating. I mean, in Europe, we're investing in floating business. 
Um, and I, I would even say that the cleaning business is growing um, in parallel with the, the solar business because every country is investing so much. So, I mean, yeah, that's a, a, a nice opportunity of business to invest in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm doing a lot on social media and LinkedIn and every time I post some videos about uh, our little robot here, um, I get a lot of engagement from all the corners of the world. It's, but do you think, I mean, personally, that's what I, would, I, I feel, but do you really think that um, this social media, this way of, of this kind of innovation uh, will bring you more, I would say, more business, will bring you more projects to clean because you have something that can bring interest, something that, you know, everybody, you know, it's robotics and mm. everybody likes innovation and robotics. But do you think that by promoting, by showing just this, you will get more interest? Or um, it's kind of the same if you like I already that. noticed that. That's quite obvious every time I post this on LinkedIn that uh, there's a ton of interest being shown, a lot of engagement, um, especially in Belgium. It's kind of really new. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, uh, yeah, most of the people know cleaners with the typical brushes, but when they see such a robot in a video, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I was maybe wondering also, um, I mean, we have some customers that are also, they come from the window cleaning business. Um, then they, they decide to, they see a big opportunity in the, in the solar business. And, and uh, in Belgium, in your market, do you see a potential market for this robot for the cleaning of big canopies of, of flat windows? Or your main goal is really to focus on the solar? Yeah, my goal is to focus on solar, but uh, I know a few big uh, window cleaning companies that have already shown interest in this technology. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, Roman, you've asked me a lot of questions, but I'm going to ask you another question. Um, I see that this industry is changing rapidly. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, we, four years ago, uh, I don't think the robot existed by then. No. We already see it evolving this way. Um, what's coming up? That's a good question. I mean, um, that's the... the the biggest part of Solar Clean, you know, we have to think every day about the future. And that's why I always say that innovation is part of our DNA. In a way that you have this machine that is ex excellent, I would say, for specific business and so on. However, we've noticed that for some, ch some markets where you have huge installations of hundreds and hundreds of megawatts, for some markets where you can only do dry cleaning, we need to go for automations. We need to find a way to get rid of this remote control. Yeah. And for this, we have managed to do it now. It's being implemented in some huge rooftops. And also there is a big revolution for, for Solar Clino. This is the Solar Clino B1, uh, this machine that you're gonna use for cleaning huge ground water installations. However, this is mainly a business for, um, I would say for the South America, Southeast Asia, where you have these huge, huge installations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, However, I mean, as I told you different, different times, this is the fourth version of the, of the Solar Clino, and our main goal is to continue improving it. Yeah. I mean, we have a, a specific inclination for cleaning, but we want to increase this inclination. We want to be able to meet all your needs. That's, that's globally the idea. Okay. So that will be around. So if I would ask you how you're going to make me happy for 20, 30 years with this thing. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's good it. to know, good to know. <laughs> there is maybe one specific question that we, we didn't talk about yet, Kim. Um, I mean, we saw about your business, the cleaning industry, but so many things. But one key point that I, I really like to know is like, according to you, what are the main benefits of these robots for the cleaning and so on? For me, that's quite obvious. Um, efficiency. Um, I cut my labor cost in half or more. Uh, which is already the biggest benefit there. Um, when I was using another system, I'm not going to mention them by name, but um, I was using these rotating brushes, but they were using around 1,350 liters of oh. water per hour. So that's, that's, huge. that's a huge water consumption. Um, and this thing is not that much. <laughs> yeah, compared to the, the money that you can save in some cases, I mean, uh, yeah. that, that's huge. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I think it can make your life easier at some point, like when you have to work the all day with a manual brush at some point. Uh, you come home dead tired if you yeah. have to do that an entire day. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what I noticed. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this is completely, uh, this is not really automated, but it's uh, remote controlled. 
And once you have this thing on the installation, it's... Uh, and there is maybe also, if I could add, the, the safety part. I mean, at some points yeah. where you have to get access to difficult access where you're not really in the safety position, here you leave the robot and maybe with the camera or something else you can control everything from distance, yeah. which is the key point. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's always interesting for, for me, for, for, for Solaclino and so on, to, to have this experience back because, as I used to say, it's only based on the feedback from our, our customers, from our cleaners, from our partners that we can really improve our solutions. I mean, if you see at this solution, uh, it's, uh, it has been developed four years ago and it's already the version four. Um, so our main idea is really to, to, to get this feedback like you and to, yep. to improve it. And, uh, and yeah, in any case, I wish you all the best for, for Solaco Cleaning and um, I thank you so much for your time Happy today. To be here. Um, I really appreciate to, to have your feedback. And uh, as I've said, let's make the, the cleaning business grow more and more. Yeah. Um, and thanks, thanks again. Thank you again.